Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part five to my deep cleaning series. We are tackling the other half of the living room today. We're gonna paint that wall, and we're also gonna head back into the office and deep clean and organize in there. We only have one week left of this series, and we will have tackled the entire house inside and out, and that is such a good feeling. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe, but let's get started. We're going away yeah. Get your back Check the tag Decision is made yeah. Lock your door Need no more It's already paid yeah. Cancel your mail for a while It's a journey for life And I'm your wife Hang on We'll be long gone Hang on I can't Okay, so I have been bothered by the color of this wall since we moved in. It's more of a brown color and the rest of our house is gray. And so today I'm painting this wall agreeable gray, just like I painted our kitchen. And it's not the same color as the other gray walls in this room, but since it was already two-tone, I kind of liked that. I just didn't like the brown. So I think I'm gonna keep it that way. This wall will be a little bit lighter than the ones beside it, but it is still a gray. If you haven't had a chance to watch parts one through four yet of this deep cleaning series, I will have them linked down in my description box below. They are jam packed full of deep cleaning motivation and organizing and home projects. I've taken the last four or five weeks to really deep clean my house, change light bulbs dust ceiling fans and baseboards, paint walls that need to be painted. We completely reorganized the pantry. It has been jam packed full of just tons of homemaking motivation. And I'm hoping to have my whole entire house um, checked off before we decorate for fall. So that's my goal. We have one more week left. I'm gonna be doing the garage next week and it is a crazy mess. So come back next week for that. But definitely check out parts one through four if you haven't had a chance yet. This video is two days worth of projects, so today we're painting this wall and we're gonna decorate and bring the piano back in, and then tomorrow we will tackle the office. Never thought I'd be so far from home. Never thought a love could grow so cold. Never thought we had to run through burning fire. Never thought I had to miss you and I. changes as we know it you do what you can you just get through it it's a mystery how people can get by on as little love as you and I never thought I'd be so far from home never thought I'd this wall just needed two coats of paint, so I'm just showing you one coat, but I did end up putting two coats of paint on.
Okay, I just finished painting this wall and I'm gonna give you a little overview here in just a second and bring back in the piano and decorate. But before I do that, I wanted to stop and thank Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Y'all know I love Blue Land products. I use their multi-surface spray in like all of my cleaning videos. It smells like lemon drops and I'm obsessed. It works so well. But not only that, Blue Land products are sourced from clean ingredients and are super affordable. Before I ever got to using Blue Land, I used to go to the store and spend a ton of money on cleaning supplies. And y'all know the last time I cleaned out my cleaning supply cabinet, it was full of plastic bottles and just tons and tons of money wasted on all of that stuff. But the great thing about Blue Land is you go to their website, they have just about everything you need. They have different bundles that you can choose from, super affordable, and like I said, sourced from clean ingredients and shipped right to your front door. Okay, the box that I'm sharing with y'all today is the Clean Sweet Kit, and it comes with everything you need. You have your multi-surface spray, your bathroom cleaner, your glass spray, but it also comes with all of your laundry essentials, and it also comes with this really cool dish soap. Blue Land was actually featured on Shark Tank and they accepted an offer from one of the sharks. They use no single use plastic in any component from their bottles, tablets, wrappers, to their shipping materials. Their products are vegan and cruelty free and made without ammonia, chlorine bleach, and parabens. Blue Land is also EPA certified, which means scientists have evaluated every single ingredient to make sure that it meets safer choices criteria. All you need is that nickel-sized tablet. You can stop paying for all of those wasteful plastic bottles and switch over to Blue Land for just $2 a tablet. And it even gets as low as $1.55 if you buy it in bulk. You just fill up your bottles to the fill line, you drop the tablet in, and then you wait a few minutes for it to dissolve. And then you screw the lid back on and you are ready to go. Also, all of Blue Land products and packaging are cradle to cradle certified and they've achieved platinum material health status, which is the agency's highest rating for all of their formulations. All you have to do is click the link in my description box below to get 15% off your first kit. You don't want to miss this. They don't ever do this. And thank you so much again to Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Okay, now that we have the paint mess all cleaned up, I'm just bringing the piano back in and we're going to start decorating. And initially what I wanted to do was put a big metal copper clock on the wall above the piano, but I could not find one anywhere. So I went ahead and used what I had, which was also good because I didn't spend any money. Um, so y'all will have to let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm still not sure exactly how I feel about it, but I do love this wall a lot more now that it's not brown. Um, and so we're still just kind of playing with the decorations to see how we like it. I sat here and stared at this wall for the longest time and couldn't figure out what to put here and then I remembered I had this thing from our apartment back in the day in our garage so I pulled that out and I actually have two of these and so I tried out two of them to see if it looked okay and it looked weird so I decided on just one but I decided to kind of offset it and then use these little hanging baskets that I picked up from Target last week and fill them with greenery um, and then I got to thinking well do I need two on both sides of the picture um, but for now, we're just going to do one side because I just had the two baskets, and we'll see how we like it. Um, I ended up moving the lamp to the other side of the piano because I needed to kind of help things be a little bit more symmetrical. Um, at least that's how I felt about it, but y'all will have to let me know down below what you think. I don't know if I was crazy for thinking this looked good, but I did think it was pretty cute. <laughs>
Okay, this is the finished product of the piano wall, and I think it's really cute. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this way because y'all know how it is. Sometimes you decorate something and then the next day you're not a huge fan of it. And I kind of feel like that's how this is gonna be. Um, but this wall hanging is actually from our apartment. Comment down below if you've been with me for that long. I used to have two of those above our couch. And um, so I just went ahead and pulled that out of the garage. I was initially gonna get a giant metal um, copper clock for this wall and so if I don't end up liking this I still may do that I think that would be so pretty but for now we're gonna keep it like this I picked up those hanging baskets last week in my day in the life video at Target for five dollars in the Target dollar spot they came together as a pack and I just stuck some greenery in there so I love that um, I just kept the lamp that I had here and then I added two bookends with some Bibles and I want to change this to a hymnal, but I left all of my hymnals at my parents' house, so I have to go pick those up. But for now, I just took a Bible there. Um, got this in my video last week, too. I love that. I think it's supposed to be a candle holder. Don't have anything in there right now, but I'll get something for that. And then I picked up that little Simply Blessed can or canvas at, at home last week, too. Love that. And also this thing last week. Um, and I love the way that that looks right here. Put my little linen candle over here. I stuck some greenery in that white basket, and I love the way that, that turned out. I think that's so cozy and pretty, and it still works with my rustic glam decor in here. And then this blanket ladder, y'all probably recognize that. That is from the kitchen, and so if I end up liking that in here, I may go pick one up for this area so that I can put this one back in our kitchen nook, because I love the way that it looks in there. And then over here on this side of the piano, I think I'm gonna go and get a little tiny circle ottoman a stool situation and then that way if we need more seating somebody can pull that out to sit on it and then for the bench down here I'm hoping my mom can make me a little seat cover um, a little cream seat cover that matches our bench over there to kind of tie that in but for now I just stuck a cream blanket there to kind of give off the vibe that I wanted but I'm loving the way that this looks this paint color on the wall is agreeable gray and it's the same gray that we did in our kitchen and then that gray over there is actually what the house came with. I'm not sure what color it is, but I wanted to keep these walls two-tone because that's what it was when we bought it, and I like that look. But I'm so glad to have the brown paint gone and to have everything gray now. The only walls we have left to paint gray are in the kitchen above the cabinets, and I will probably do that in an upcoming fall decorating video because that won't take long at all, but... Love the way that this turned out. Let me know what y'all think down below if you think I should get a big copper clock up here or if I should just keep it like this for now and save a little money. But now it is time to go clean out the office and y'all wish me luck because it is so bad. Okay, now I'm headed from the living room into the office, and y'all know this office is either really clean or a complete disaster, and right now it is a complete disaster. <laughs> We've destroyed it. We put all of our stuff in here. This is kind of like a catch-all space, and I really don't want it to be like that. I want it to be a workable space that is functional for us, that you know, Will works from home a lot of times, so I want it to work for him, and then obviously I work from home too, so I'm gonna be labeling things today. I've gotta go through our mail basket and sort through all of that. I need to update our calendars. I went ahead and erased those um, so that I can get those up to date. Those were a month behind, and just go through all kinds of stuff like that. So that's gonna be fun. Lots and lots of decor and just random junk to sort through. And then next week, I'm doing a garage clean out, and I was gonna do a closet uh, an office closet clean out in today's video, but I just really don't think I'm gonna have the time for it with all of this So I may put that in the garage clean out video or that may go in the um, Clean and undecorate before we bring out all of our fall decor in a couple of weeks. So Either way, it's gonna get done But today I have to tackle this office and get it back to being functional for us Younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers We just let the days pass by 
People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job. We didn't care what we were told, cause when we were younger, we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. When they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were free. When we were 17. Okay, we can finally see the floors in here. I got all of the mail sorted out. Um, everything off of my desk, all of the junk off of the floor. We cleaned all of the cords up underneath his desk. That wire actually runs out to the living room. We still have to get it wired through the wall. So that's why that's still there. I need to get this printer out so I can clean the floors in here. Will's desk is all straightened up. I just have to kind of wipe it down and organize it a little bit. But for the most part, we have the floors cleaned up. Now I'm just gonna go in and wipe everything down. We're gonna clean out the windows and steam clean the carpets, the whole nine yards. I wish I could turn back time. Oh, ooh, ooh. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. When they found out we were. After we figure out this office today, all we have left is the garage and then today I didn't get to the guest bathroom or the closet in the office. So I'll have to get to those eventually too. I'll either get to those with the garage in next week's video or the following week I'm actually doing a clean and undecorate from summer in order to get ready for fall. So I'll do those in that video if I don't get to them this week or next. But that's the plan we just have one more week left of deep cleaning before we start in on all of the fall content and i'm so excited comment down below when you start decorating for fall i always like to start at the beginning of august because when all of the kids start going back to school that's when it feels like fall to me and also when i was a teacher i didn't really have time to decorate after i started school so that's when we're going to start decorating Come closer, dance for me Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down Come closer, let me see All your million faces and all your million mistakes I had let this room get way too dusty. All of our electronics were piled in dust, which I know is not good, but I went ahead and just took my multi-surface cleaner and I was wiping everything down. And then when it came to the screens, I used the in-dust wipes and we got it all taken care of, but my gosh, that dust was piled up thick. Perfect lips 
I'm gonna kind of offset Will's computer to the left a little bit because I actually got him a little mini fridge for Christmas. At his request, he wanted one of these that holds like six cans in it, um, and it's just been sitting in the corner. So I'm gonna make room on his desk for it and fill it with some Diet Coke. Okay, so a lot of times I have people ask me, what are you doing with all of this stuff when you pull it out of a room? So I'm gonna be very honest with you. This is the office, and this is all the stuff that I pulled out of the office. Obviously, this is something that you have to do when you're decluttering. You have to figure out a place for everything. So right now, I put all of this stuff that Will and I have to go through together right here, and that bag is full of Tupperware from his grandparents that we have to return. Um, but the rest of this stuff is like Christmas presents, mail, random junk that I don't want to throw away unless I know that Will is okay with it. Over here is trash bag, which I have a bunch more trash that I threw away. It's already in the kitchen trash. Um, this stuff is all of Will's stuff that's going to go back in his desk area. That's my Cricut printer, all of his guitars, drawers, and I'm about to label those drawers. I need to label for vinyl and pens and pencils and stuff like that. That'll help me stay organized. <clears throat> and then Will's desk chair. So let's go ahead and find a place for all of this stuff. Okay, to be quite honest, I think these carpets are just as good as the day we moved in. So I'm not gonna worry about steam cleaning them. So let's go ahead and move everything back in.
Okay, the office is officially done. I dusted and vacuumed, cleaned windows, did the ceiling fan, organized everything, got all of the mail out that didn't need to be in here. We redid our calendars and updated them. I um, did not seam clean the carpets because they're like good as new. This time of day is so pretty in here. But everything feels and looks so much better. Will's desk is way decluttered. I kept the books out that he reads all the time. I got his little mini fridge running, put some Diet Cokes in there. Got all of his little guitars dusted and organized. All of his computer stuff is dusted and organized. Hit all of the cords as best I could. And then over here, tonight I'm going to organize those drawers. I'm gonna use some, or I'm gonna use the Cricut and make some labels. Um, but right now I'm gonna go make dinner because I'm starving. But down here I have my little portable um, microphone and everything that I take with me when I edit because a lot of times I don't edit in here I'll edit in the nursery or the living room so I just keep it all in that little box and I can tote it along wherever I go and then I'm keeping the printer over there for now everything looks so much better yay and I'm gonna show you the hallway because I know a lot of people are gonna be like well let's see where all the junk went the junk is gone yay everything's put away except for this pile right here this is what Will and I have to go through this weekend, see what we need and what we don't, and then take the Tupperware back to his grandparents' house. But other than that, the office is good as new, and we can finally use it again. These drawers actually used to be in my classroom, but when I quit teaching, I brought them in here. And they're actually really handy. I can put all of my Cricut vinyl in here and my books and my paper. I also have a drawer full of receipts because I used to be terrible about saving receipts, but I'm getting better. And then I also have a drawer for pens and pencils, all that good stuff. So we're all organized in here now. I'm loving the way that this looks. And we are officially done with this office, deep clean and organized. Even though I may be sad. feeling so good to have almost the whole entire house organized and deep cleaned but thank y'all so much for watching today don't forget to check out blue land and get 15 percent off your kit and i will see y'all next sunday with our last part to this deep cleaning series bye it's just the sweetest thing i've ever